Okay. The machine has a, uh, a work light here. And it has this quick clamp deal here to clamp the uh, jaw shut. So if you got a lot of stuff, you just open and close it like this. And there's a screw clamp on the other side there. So it's pretty easy to uh, clamp and unclamp. Okay, I'm just going to turn it on here. Got this uh, down feed adjuster right here. It won't start unless. You know, unless it's off the micro switch that shuts it off on it. The coolant pump switch. The coolant pump is on. Off. Makes a little humming noise. It's fine. This uh, has a nice new LED light I put on here. I'm going to adjust it, move it around, depending on what, how big a part you're cutting. That carbide blade guides back at the rollers. The heavy duty guides on it. An inch and a quarter blade. So I'll, I'll just let it feed down here and it'll shut itself off. And it has a nice. Uh, Blade speed cutting chart. Oh, there's one other thing, you know. Turn it back up here and change the speed here. One really nice thing about this machine is that it has this variable speed control here. Heavy duty gearbox change speed change here. It's running the speed up. really good to do that without any coolant on the blade guys. Carbide blade guys, but they're... Turn it all the way down. It can be wired for 220 or 440 volts. It's wired 220 volt right now. But this is a pretty rugged drive system on here. Direct drive to the wheel. It's all steel frame, heavy steel frame construction, German made machine. It's got coolant going directly to the blade guides right here. On this side here, a little valve here, and on the other side right here, a little valve. That's basically it. Yeah. 